Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. I'm Anton, and today I'll show you something that you'll love if you have a 3D printer. So, let's get to it. Okay, so this is MakerBox. It's a monthly or bi-monthly subscription box for makers who love testing new filaments on their 3D printer. I got this box a couple of months ago. The first thing I noticed was a pack of gummy worms, or at least that's what they were before they melted on their way down to Honduras. Then something else I love, stickers, which are all going to my wall. Now the good stuff. Each monthly box will include four different samples of filament. These filaments are chosen by their team to provide a rich variety of cool and unique filaments every single month. Something very smart is that the filaments are packed by length rather than by weight, compensating for their differences in density. This way you get to print the same amount with any sample. For a better comparison, I chose three designs that I would print with each sample. The sample should be roughly 60 meters long, and each of the prints used up more or less 5 meters of filament. The three designs I chose were a MakerBox Maker Coin, a 3D Benchy, and a vase. I always printed the vase last, because if I ran out of filament, I would just end up with a shorter vase. Also, printing with samples is kind of a pain in the ass if you don't have the proper spool, so I printed this one. It is very easy to load and takes up only 50 grams of filament. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. So, I started out with some glitter HTPLA by Protopasta. HTPLA stands for High Temperature PLA, meaning you can anneal it in the oven to get some extra strength and heat resistance from it. And I need to say this is hands down the coolest looking filament there is. Prints have a rough texture due to the glitter. Also because of the glitter, it is not recommended to use it on nozzles smaller than 0.4 millimeters. But whoa, it looks so damn cool. Then I went on with Silk Filament by Beaver 3D. This filament is so nice to look at. It is super shiny, making it look like silk. This filament is all about the looks. So it is very nice for prints with flat or smooth sides that will show off its reflective properties. As you can see, vases look awesome. Next, I tried Buzzed by 3D Fuel. This filament comes from a very peculiar source. It is made using the waste byproducts from the beer making process. It also smells very sweet while printing. This filament has a goldish color with noticeable darker grains, but the end texture is pretty much smooth. So technically, this filament is good for the environment, plus it has a nice unique look to it. Finally, I tried some PLA by MakerBox. This is just standard PLA, nothing special here, and I was actually not that impressed. Some corners and overhangs warped a bit in the 3D Benchy, and some layers of the Maker coin were not printed. I think that might have been something wrong with the slicer though. The vase was pretty consistent and smooth. So maybe if I had some more filament, I could have nailed it with better settings. As you can see, you can print quite a bit with a maker box. You're essentially getting 200 grams of filament, which may not sound like much for the price, but the good thing is that you also get $5 off coupons for each of the filaments when you buy a full roll. Plus, you might also get exclusive discount codes on other stores, like getting 15% off an extruder or other 3D printing accessories. The point here is that MakerBox is a very cool and efficient way of trying out new filaments without burning through your wallet on larger spools that you might end up disliking. If you want to try out MakerBox, make sure to use this code to get 15% off your first box. Also remember to tag ThinkMaking, Instagram, or Twitter to get a chance to get your creations featured. Well guys, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, go ahead and smash that like button. If you loved it, feel free to support me through Patreon or by buying some cool stuff in my merch store. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're wondering what to watch next, check out this video. Again guys, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.